All right, today I'm going to be doing a review of the HTC Hero running Froyo. That's uh, Android 2.2. Fresh, brand new operating system. Barely been out. Um, hardly on any phones yet. A lot of phones are waiting for updates. Um, this phone will actually never get to two. It's two one is the end of the line for this one for Sprint as well as the Samsung Moment. Um, but I am running a custom, I've rooted my phone so I can throw on custom firmwares made by third parties. Um, this one, um, just to plug them real quick, I got this from xdadevelopers.com. The forums section, and you scroll down to the Android phones, you go a little deeper and you'll see HTC Hero. Make sure you look for CDMA if you have the, if they have the Sprint one. Um, and on that one you can actually, um, it'll show you how to root it to basically get it back so you can put in what you want. And it's a really simple process, not bad. You do have to be a little techno savvy, so... You know, don't just go at it if you've never really even been good at computers. Um, but yeah, you'll get it in there, and you'll, I think you'll be pretty happy with it. Um, the first thing I'll notice about Froyo off the bat that I've picked up is that it's really, even for a custom ROM, it is flawless, for lack of a better word. Um, every time I get a new ROM, there's always a little glitch. There's something that doesn't work, or I have to wipe a couple times because it just gets hung up. A big one is features that just don't work for a while. Um, and my biggest one I think is the biggest is actually battery life can be really bad for a couple updates until the developers get it going. Um, this one's not the case. Um, a lot of this is Froyo, but the battery life is fantastic. Um, um, I would say the leap from 1.6 Android to 2.1 Android had not even half the battery performance increase that was from 2.1 to 2.2. So Google's really done a good job making this one. Um, they focused a lot more into small little changes from 2.1 to 2.2. Um, it's little things you won't notice most of them, but they really make a difference, and you'll be really pleased with the experience on the device. Um, I'm going to start off here. A few little aesthetic changes um, as you're poking around on the phone. Um, as far as the Android goes. Um, Google Talk had a bit of a change. Um, little softer edges. Little just looks a little friendlier. That's all I can really say about it. Nothing else seems to have changed much, honestly. Uh, you go back though, and you can see that Gmail's kind of done something pretty similar. You have a little button here at the top right. You can actually set up multiple accounts now really easily. You can add your account there just like you did when you added it when you first started the phone. Multiple Gmail accounts. I don't think there's a limit. Um, if there is, it's probably much higher than you would ever need. So I get better. And also, you can scroll. Actually, I'll show again. There's a nice little button now when you get emails. It'll let you scroll down here, bottom side to side, and these will let you just go back and forth through emails instead of having to back out and select the next one. And that was a really good idea. I like that they did that. Um, the next big change is going to be the Android Marketplace. This is one that I think many people will like. Um, first, you have your provider-specific tab there on the top right. You'll probably see that. That's just suggested apps like we see in Sprint Zone or on V. I think it's Vcast and Verizon. Um, now the big thing is you won't you don't see the download button, which is something you usually see on the top there on the right where the sprint button now is. What it is is they've stuck it under menu now. And you hit downloads right there and you can get that from anywhere in the app store. And it brings you to your current downloads, things you already have on your phone. Um, I'm sure anybody who uses Android knows what I'm talking about about the download section. But the new thing with 2.2 is they've separated the description and the comments into two different tabs. You have your comments here on the right about the left. Um, the marketplace is much quicker now. Um, you, you'll probably see that from what I've already used it so far. It's much snappier. Things load really quick. There's not that big long um, thinking when it first opens. It's great. Um, the thing I like too is you see here on the top, new thing probably glaring at you is the allow automatic updating. Now 2.1 had a thing where it would tell you if there was a new update available for your app. Um, it wasn't very good at it. Um, in fact it wouldn't usually tell me until I was downloading the update that I just went and looked for myself. Um, so you can just check that, and not only will it, you know, notify you, it'll just do it itself. It'll it'll say there's an update available, and then it'll download the update and apply it. Um, this is all in principle. I haven't had the ROM long enough to know if it really works. Um, I'm assuming it does. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, back up a little bit here. Nope, I didn't mean to launch that. A couple other things that just got slipped into this version. Um, this is going to be kind of a Cyanogen mod specific review, or kind of preview, I should say. Um, because there's a few changes in here from what you're going to see on standard Froyo that were just slipped in by the third party, by you know, by the developers who made it. Um, again, this is called the Cyanogen mod. Uh, so it's HTC Hero 2.2 Froyo. That's on XDA developers. You can find it underneath the CDMA HTC Hero developers section. 
what you're going to see is down here is this little launcher called the ADW launcher. And what this does is this provides a few different changes you can do to the system. Besides being nice, you can actually customize the bar. You see there I have phone, Google Talk, SMS, Gmail. And you have just this little dot indicators up there at the top. Now that actually is something that you are going to see added. Those little dots up there at the top to tell you what page you're on. So you know where you're at compared to the center home screen. Now those are going to, there's going to be something pretty similar to that on the the um, standard version of 2.2. Um, but the big thing is that you can actually, with ADW, and I'm not sure if 2.2 is going to allow this. I hope it does. I really do like this. You can actually set up your own gestures as far as what things do. It's kind of a preset list and you can tell you what it wants to do. A big one is so you know the pinch is how you get it to go to preview mode and select your screen. You'll notice how much smoother that is too on 2.2. They've really, this phone is slightly overclocked, but even from, I was running an overclocked 2.2 ver, two, two, or 2.1, and it is not near as smooth even as this less overclocked version of 2.2. But what you can do is I changed it so you can have an up swipe and a down swipe and other stuff like that, and you can set it, what I did is I set the up swipe to go to preview mode instead of doing the pinch or the home button. So you go up swipe, and there it is. It's Especially the big thing is it may not seem like that big of a deal, but when you're holding it in one hand, you can just take your thumb and go to preview. And that's what I like about that. Because on the home screen, you have the benefit of maybe hitting the home button, except I turn that off. Um, but you can hit the home button and it would go to preview mode. But when you're anywhere else, it would just take you back to the home screen like that. Now, the fact that you can just be on any screen now and swipe up with your thumb and stuff, you know, because especially if you're holding, you know, have a cup of coffee, you're walking to the train walking to the bus stop or getting on the bus, you know, you have a little problem where you have to bounce the coffee to do the little, you know, or you have to do one of these, this unnatural, unholy movement with your thumb and finger while you're holding the phone. But um, I really do recommend it. Um, in fact, I would say some of you who are running just a stock Android phone or running even a stock Sprint phone that's not even rooted, you can still get this ADW launcher from the marketplace for free. Just take it for a day, install it, and try it over Sense. I guarantee I think you will like it a lot more than Sense. Um, and just to make Sense feel a little more, you know, feel a little more at home for my transition from Sense, the one thing I really liked that's, that was missing was a nice little clock, you know, the flip clock with the weather, but there's actually this neat little bundle of, um, widgets called Beautiful Widgets, and they make things like little home weather screens like you see there at the top. They also make buttons for Wi-Fi and for airplane mode, things like that, really simple little things. But um, this is the smaller version, so you see I got, it's just, it's just you know, four by one. You have four rows and just one column across. Okay, sorry, four columns in one row. And that saves you quite a bit of space. You can customize that by font, look. I mean, it's endless of ways to com customize that top widget. Um, that's only about two bucks, Android Marketplace, so I would recommend that. Um, as of right now, it's just a really quick little overview. Um, again, the big differences you're going to see is little tweaks to the marketplace, to the email app, little tweaks to Gmail's UI, Gtalk's UI, things like that. Um, battery life is astronomically better, very impressive. I'm a huge fan of what they've done with it. Um, I really think 2.2 is going to be great. Um, it is out now, so this is the 2.2 the that's running with this is official. The mod, just the install for Hero is not official. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, or again, I really do recommend going to XDA Developers. Um, they're going to be able to answer all your questions. Um, really informative site, really helpful. Um, and they'll also help you pick out the best ROM. You can get stuff for 2.1 as well, if you'd rather stick with 2.1. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.